guys, it's Palm Primus here, and welcome to another Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, okay? Uh, today, actually, I'm going to do the N7, ch actually, not an N7 challenge, per se. It's kind of considered an N7 challenge, but not. It's a special challenge that Bioware released on November 7th, because obviously, N7, you know, N7 standing November 7th. Or, well, that, it's just a pun. It's not really the meaning of what the N7 stands for, but... Since it's November 7th, uh, two days ago actually, uh, Bioware figured, oh, let's make a, a challenge for November 7th since it's related to N7, you know, N7 Day Alliance Challenge. And basically, it's very simple. All you have to do is extract three times with a human character. And frankly, that's, you know, pretty damn easy. I actually did uh, a video beforehand um, of this challenge, but unfortunately, I wasn't, be able, to re I wasn't able to record... Uh, live because it was at night and everything and you know I don't want to wake up the uh, the folks and whatnot so I kind of just recorded the match and everything like that and I did some uh, voice over commentary um, afterwards uh, but go check it out it's pretty interesting all right um, so this is gonna be my second attempt uh, or second actually try of doing the uh, challenge today I need to do two more uh, extractions and I'm okay with it and obviously this is pretty simple all you have to do is extract with humans on any level um, or any uh, map or any enemy to be honest so I just need to use a human character but frankly I want to use a special character uh, last time I used the N7 Vanguard as you can see right uh, you know Gray Fox and whatnot but I want to use something somebody different today and I'm gonna go use the Paladin and because I haven't really used them in some time now so let's see we got the he's yellow have I updated this guy? yeah I have updated him Okay, so let's see what we're going to choose. Obviously, I want to go for Energy Drain. Frankly, Energy Drain is one of the best. Impact Radius. Uh, I'm just going to go for Damage, to be honest. Yeah, right. I'm going to go for Shields Restored. And then finally here, Increase Damage by 40%. Reduce Damage Taken. Uh, hmm, this is interesting. I'll go for Damage. Make this thing really strong, if you would. Snap freeze. I'm gonna go for increased damage to children, and frozen targets. Increased duration of freeze targets 50%. Decrease. Uh, I'm gonna go for increased damage. Why? Because to be honest, if you can put, you know, six seconds is more than enough, especially if you increase uh, the damage to chilled and frozen targets by 10%. You'll be able to, like, you know, shatter them into a thousand pieces in no time. Uh, so, an added three seconds really doesn't make a difference. Movement speed it, it hinders them, but Ah, I'll go for this one. Cryo Explosion. And then over here, increase the damage of tech combos by 100% or increase damage by 40% and weaken armor targets. I'm going to go for this one because a lot of enemies have armor and everything, so I'm going to go for that. So I'll leave it like that. Weapons. I am going to change the weapon today. I, last time I used the Crusader, which, by the way, I have a different mindset on it after somebody told me to use it with the uh, Paladin. And holy shit, the gun is good. Uh, so I already did the Rieger Carbine, I already showed you guys the Piranha, I already showed you the Crusader. Uh, did the Disciple already. Uh, did the Grawl, did the Schmittar. Surprisingly enough, I was using the Schmittar in my last video for the N7 daily cha day challenge thing. And surprisingly, it is good. It has 8 bullets in it if you put the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the ammo clip thing. Um, the damage isn't that, that, isn't that bad. And it's pretty damn fast, and it's pretty damn quick to reload as well. So it wasn't that bad. I was surprised about the Schmittar. I'm thinking I'm going to use the Schmittar a little bit more now. I can see why it's considered an uncommon, but still. Uh, we got the Wraith here. We got the Plasma Shotgun I want to show you. I'll go for the Katana just to show you guys, because I know I haven't done a video yet with the Katana yet. And this is obviously a, um, basically a default weapon you get for the multiplayer. Uh, already, wanted to, already wanted to powers. Why am I going back to powers? I'm going to change my appearance a bit. I like changing my appearance every once in a while. Every time I log in, I always change the color of my characters. I, don't ask me why. I just do it. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Uh, let's go for... It's going to be... Oh, I like this blue color. Oh, that's a nice color. There we go. Looks like a Power Ranger now. Light! Sky Blue Power Ranger! All right, whatever. Uh, let's see here. Equipment. What do we have here? I haven't played in, I haven't played since yesterday. No, two days, actually. I haven't played since November 7th. Um, so the only match actually, or the only video actually I have of actually me playing on November 7th for the N7 Day Challenge was the last video in which I didn't have any commentary, or well, live commentary if you would. I'm gonna go for do, 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 Shotgun 6, let me see, what else do we get? Tech, uh, no. 
Let's see, do I have any more shotgun? I'll go for this one, actually, screw it. Shotgun amp, uh... Nah, I'm not even gonna use the shotgun amp 3. Ammo, let's go for... I'm, I'm, I'm feeling drill rounds, let's go for drill rounds. And surprisingly, if you use armor piercing with the Schmidt tar, it's really good because you don't have to worry about the guardians. So that's pretty good. Uh, here, I'm gonna go for Cyclone mod Modulator. Just because, you know, my character is more of a shield-based character, if you would. So that's pretty good. I like it. I like it. Alright, let's go to Quick Match here. I was playing Firebase Giant. Um, oh, no, I didn't, actually, because a stupid person who was supposed to play Firebase Giant didn't, or the computer didn't. I don't know. The, the matchmaking sometimes here in Mass Effect 3 is kind of messed up. It, it sometimes goes for the maps that you want, and sometimes it's just like, okay, we can't find any map, we're just going to randomly put you anywhere. So we'll go for Firebase Giant, actually. I think I haven't done Firebase Giant uh, Hazard since um, I recorded on my video camera of the Turian Havoc, if you would. So now you can see it with better quality, you know, better visual, you know, the true colors, if you would. Because obviously video camera kind of uh, desaturizes the color and whatnot. And, it you know, the lighting is kind of off, too. It's more bright and whatnot. Okay, let's see if we can find so a match here. No. What I usually do is I press cancel after like five seconds if I don't find a match right away because that means it's, it's stuck in a cycle, if you would. Sometimes it does find it after that five second cycle, in my opinion, but it just sometimes, it's rarely. So I kind of just do that and go back on and see if anybody's playing Firebase Giant Hazard. Somebody should be playing this Firebase Giant Hazard. Um, after all, it is a Friday. It is going to be a long weekend for all of us, so I'll probably do some videos then. I'll also do some homework as well because i got to finish a project for my internship. Ugh. Which is pretty simple, actually. Don't tell anybody, but I'm doing my project in like a last-minute thing. <laughs> Procrastination. The number one thing that keeps college students running. Okay, come on, why can't we find a match? There we go. Hopefully it's... Firebase Giant, not like, you know, Firebase Jade or something like that. Like, randomly puts me in a match. Computer's probably going to be frustrated. It's like, ah, oh, screw it! Put you anywhere. So, yeah, I didn't even know about this N7 Day Challenge thing. Um, I probably mentioned this in my, little, in my last N7 Day Challenge video, but I figured I should just mention it again. I didn't know, I didn't know about it. Um, I logged in, actually, on November 7th. Um, I was actually doing some research for a project of mine. And I figured, oh, I'll just check Mass Effect website, see what's going on. And I found out that um, there was this N7 Date Alliance Challenge. I'm like, what the hell is this? Is this the operation? And I haven't had a feeling it wasn't the operation because it didn't say Operation So-and-So. So I go check it out, and I find the blog post. And it's a picture of the female shepherd saying N7 Day Challenge November 7th. So I was like, holy shit. I started reading it, and it's a separate, you know, little mini challenge they're doing because, you know, N stands, like, you know, they're saying that N stands for November 7, obviously 7 and the N7, you know, whatever. It, I guess they were just trying to make a joke out of it. So, who are we going against today? Oh, come on, I'm on the 11th round? Oh, what the? F Does this even count? Oh, this is gay. Oh my god, my back! This is... This is retarded. Oh my god, 13 seconds... Oh god. Get to the extraction area. Oh, what's happening here? It was saying like 15 seconds, and now it's saying like 2 minutes. Whoa! Get... 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 Oh my god, what's going on here? This is whack. Oh, I thought you were a freaking... A Dragoon, if you would. Shall not pass! There we go. I'm just gonna stay here. All right, this this kind of sucks. Uh, I jumped into a match that's already ending. Oh, this is whack. Oh my god, this is the stupidest thing ever. I'm just gonna stay here. This is this is like beyond stupidity.
Oh, there I killed him. Got no pass. Come on, come on, come on. Ha! Look at that. By dumb luck, I use the energy drain. Ice, ice, baby. Oh, God. Whoa. Wow, really? With snap freeze with an atlas? Huh. Whatever. Well, that was the quickest freaking match ever. Yeah, it didn't take me 23 minutes. How long was that? Let me check here. It's only been like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, guys, there you go. I hope you like that video. Did I get if if I got the N seven day challenge because of that? That's pretty funny. I guess I can just end this N seven day challenge in one video, I guess, or two videos really, if you count the last one. What the hell, man? That was just bogus. I hate when you, the computer does that. But I think Bioware should not allow the computer after like maybe round like nine not to allow anybody to enter into a match. Because it's dumb. It's wasting the person's inventory, I guess. But it also sucks for the other person who's missing a teammate and who's getting their ass screwed in the, like, in the last freaking round. So it's understandable why Bioware would do that. But let's see if they, um, if they wasted my inventory. Because I only had one drill round. So we'll see if we had one drill round. Alright, let's see. Look, I got the N7 Paladin Extraction. Hadger Extraction, and I get the... Yep, and I got the N7 Day Challenge. Wonderful. Wonderful. Alright, that was bogus. I got free experience points, whatever. Uh, let's go for Shield Mastery here. We'll go for Increased Damage and Almond Shield with Tempe for Collapsing. Uh, duh, look at that. 3,000 to 5,000. I'll go for 5,000, thank you. Always go for the uh, Shield Durability because that's like the main quality of the Paladin, if you would. Oh, wow, N7 Day. Oh, they already got the N7 Day. That's what it looks like? Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, whatever. Um, I'm going to go for equipment here. Weapon. Oh, yeah, they used up my ammo. Son of a bitch. They used my freaking ammo. I, fuck, man. What a waste. Whatever. Let's go for... I want to say... Let's go for disruptor rounds. Weapon bonus? No, let's leave that alone. And they used, wasted my modulator, too. Sons of guns. Uh, power on, I don't use one. Power on flyer bull crap. Okay, let's go. We can do this on silver. We'll do firebase giant against Cerebus again, I guess. You know, whatever. Just kind of just finish this off if you would. Come on, let's do this. Oh, Shadow Infantry. That's pretty cool. I like to get that one. I just like I just want to do that shadow strike that the shadow infantrator does. Where it comes up from behind you and <laughs> cuts you up. Especially, I think there's a there's two different um, amplifications for that power. I think you get like one of electricity on your sword, and another one I think you get like a fire blade instead. That's that's pretty cool. Um, obviously, I only have the the vanguard one, which is the you know the one that looks like Kai Lang. So we'll just see how. Let's see if I get the uh, N7 Shadow. Hopefully, when I buy my next Premium Spectre pack. But unfortunately, I've been getting the stupid characters and weapons. No offense to those weapons. I don't know, why am I saying no offense to the weapons? Fuck it, they're not real. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, let's see how this goes. Well, that was ridiculous. That was really bogus. Oh my god. Oh, and if you guys don't know, um, Bioware is actually releasing uh, Omega DLC. Obviously, some of you might know this, but they're releasing it on October 27th and 28th in Europe for the PS3. And I saw some gameplay footage. I think I've uploaded some gameplay footage so you guys can see. Uh, it's from GameSpot. One of the uh, editors there or whatever had a... A uh, little, you know, kind of like a little meeting with, uh, whatchamacallit, what's his name, Michael Gable, one of the producers for Bioware, 
and they basically played a little mission um, in the Omega DLC. And surprisingly enough, there's a female Tyrion squad mate. I thought they were going to give us like maybe a Batarian or a Vorcha. No, they gave us a female, uh, uh, what you call it, Tyrion squad mate, which is pretty cool because we've never seen a female Tyrion before. All right, except in the comic book. If you ever read the comic book, I never read it. I just saw, I just googled female Tyrion, and that's what came up the female from the comic book and whatnot. Um, and what you call it. And actually, we get to have Arya as a teammate as well, and she has a new ability called Flare. It's kind of like some Final Fantasy move or something, but yeah, it's it's called Flare, and it looks like that. It looks like the Flare from like Final Fantasy. So it's like, what the hell? So that's pretty cool. Oh, why, why is everybody shooting at me? Oh, there they are. Oh, there you are. Oh, whoa, whoa. What the flipping flapping? Oh, come on, guys. This is bogus. Oh, whatever. So, like I was saying, so we get two new characters so far as to date. You know, so far as I know, we get Arya and we get this female Tyrion. I do not know if those, if Arya and the female Tyrion, her name is Nyrene. Um, are permanent characters or the characters you can only use for the Omega DLC? I'm not really sure. All right, they didn't really say anything about that. To be honest, that's one thing I would have asked the uh, Michael Gable if I was the editor. Um, to be honest, the video that GameSpot released on that it, it was kind of weak. The guy didn't really ask many questions uh, per se about the DLC. He was kind of more like a little kid, like, "Oh wow, oh cool, oh oh look a female Tyrion, oh oh cool, oh wow." And like he didn't really ask questions. That's, that's what kind of pissed me off about the interview or you know the meeting or whatever you want to call it uh, with Michael Gable. He didn't really say much. Like you didn't ask questions that people would want to know. Are, is Arya a permanent character that you can use, like Javik and you know all the other characters, or he can only use it during the Omega DLC? Um, the new enemies, do you get to see these new enemies and the other missions and whatnot? And yes, there are new enemies in the game if you guys don't know. Uh, you remember the Sentry Bots from Mass Effect 2? Well, they're back, and they look more badass than ever. They have Sentinel armor and everything. It, it just looks gorgeous, in my opinion. So that's pretty cool that they're adding new um, enemies. Hopefully they add more new enemies, just, you know, except this, you know, just having the, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, sentries and whatnot. Uh, new shield! Oh, shit! Ice, ice, baby! Oh, I'm dead! I'm dead! Someone help me! I'm dying! Oh, the humanity! Oh, there we go. Thank you, who's that, Johnny? What's his name? Join I don't know how you pronounce your name. Whatever. Where's everybody? Oh, they're over here. Somebody, nobody. Oh god. Da, 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 da. I like how they call the Kuntana the shotgun. Oh, there we go. Energy drain. This level is level's really dark. Oh shit, I didn't even notice the green over there. Huh. Ah, oh, damn it! Stupid control. Yeah, spaz out, you son of a bitch! Hey, what do you think you're doing? You shall not pass! Is anybody over here? Is anybody over here? Hello? So, back to the Omega DLC. What did I thought about it? It looks pretty cool. So, am I going to get it? I think this is a DLC I will definitely get just because... Ah! God! Shit, shit, shit. God oh, damn, I, get, I didn't get the Satyrian's shields. Come here. Come here, shields! There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh! The shooting at me? Oh, no one. So... Yeah, the Omega DLC looks... This one looks something I would buy. Even if it's only like two hours long. <coughs> and to be honest, I think the only reason why it's two hours long is because um, even Michael Gable said himself that there's a limit that they can uh, do for the DLCs because uh, Xbox stores and the PSN stores have a certain limit. They have like a, a standard of like, okay, if it exceeds... Oh, shit. It's one of these. If it... Ex Wait, is he doing it? Oh, he's already doing it. If it exceeds over 2 gigabytes, um, they can't put it out as a DLC, apparently. 
So I guess Bioware has a restriction of how big of a file they can use. And especially since Mass Effect is an RPG type of game and everything and a lot of graphical stuff into it and whatnot. I guess, you know, the two gigabytes... They were actually... He actually said himself that they were actually on the borderline of passing it. Um, they're, I think they were at 1.97 uh, gigabytes. Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. What the fudgicles? Oh, gay ass guardian. Oh, gay guardian. Cause I'm reviving before someone stops on my face, my beautiful face. So uh, apparently, Bioware has a restriction of only two gigabytes per DLC. And if it's a high-end game like let's say Mass Effect 3, um, I don't think they're gonna be able to have a longer campaign. So all those people out there bitching, you should not pass. Fuck off. There we go. So all those people complaining that the DLCs are too short, now you know the reason why. It's because they have a limit of what they can use. Um, obviously, if you want a longer story, it's gonna... Um, whatchamacallit? It's gonna hinder probably certain little special stuff like new enemies and uh, new characters and uh, a cohesive story and whatnot. So those people complaining out there, you can't really complain now. Because it's not their fault. They have this a restriction on what they can use for the the DLC. And I always wondered that like well, why are the DLCs always like less than two gigabytes? And I guess because the PSN and Xbox Live have that stupid ass rule of like, if it's a DLC it has to be less than two gigabytes. Um I don't know why. I'm I don't work for Sony or Microsoft, so I can't really tell you why that restriction is there, but whatever. So, but still, two hours? I think that's more than enough. Two hours of gameplay? I'm happy with that. It is a little bit expensive, though. It is like, it's 15 bucks or 1200. Oh, God, Microsoft points. Explode, you bastard. You shut up, pass. Where are you? Come on, hit you with my shield. Ah. Look at that. Boom, bitch. Oh. There we go. Oh, I had this. Shit, I'm out of shields. I'm out of shields. Where is it? Give me your shields, nemesis. There we go. This katana's not that bad, too. Oh, God. Oh, God. There we go. I'm not really, really paying attention to the match right now. I'm just kind of just talking and shooting like crazy. But yeah, I'm really excited about this Omega DLC. And um, well, I, and like I said, I am, I'm definitely going to get this Omega DLC. I don't care how short it is. It just has a lot of content compared to the other DLCs. Leviathan DLC, just new maps, that's it. And, and like basically, you know, the origins of the Reapers, pretty much that's it. Um... From the ashes, basically, you just get a new weapon and a new uh, ally. Shit, son of a bitch. Um, so, and this one has a new story, new allies, uh, with new abilities, mind you. So that's pretty damn cool. Oh, God, who's shooting from behind me? Hey, guy! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, come on, give me a break. Give me a shield. Oh god, oh shit, I thought, the, I thought she was the uh, phantom for a second. Freeze, motherfucker! Oh shit, I killed somebody! What? What? Revive me, you stupid ninja woman! There we go. Was it Join... Joyani? 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 Join? I don't know. Is that, is that, I'm pronouncing like it was Japanese. Shut up, motherfucker! Oh god. What? What? Oh, this is bull. This is bull crap. Oh, fuck it. Hey! Stupid asshole. There we go. Is this silver? Yeah, it's silver. What, what? Oh, I'm in last place! Okay. 
six. All right, it's about twenty-five minutes in. All right, we got it protected, I guess. Yay! No, I just oh shit! I actually killed it. Uh, she has a gaff plasma shotgun. The Wraith, is it? Freeze, motherfucker! There we go. Where's the other guy? The other guy's just being like, oh, I'm gonna be Rambo. There we go. I hate engineers. Ah, get out of the way! Move it! Where's this thing at? Oh, here we go. Oh, that was quick. Ah! Shut up, ass! There we go. Oh, I need ammo. Where's the ammo crate? There we go. Let's see if we can go up here. Climb, you idiot. There you go. Oh, there was that a grenade? Oh, no. Oh! Oh! Shit! Come here, shield asshole. There we go. Now I gotta get rid of that damn machine. I hate turrets. There we go. I hate turrets so much with a passion. It's like it's not even funny. Ugh, they're so annoying. Especially when you have like three engineers setting up turrets. It's like, what the fuck? Hey, bimbo. Eyes, eyes, baby. Oh, where'd she go? Where'd she go? I don't know where she go. I killed the nemesis, but there was a phantom there. Oh, God. There she is. Oh! Get away from me! Yes! I got the kill with the katana. Sweet. There you go. Oh shit! Okay, where's everybody at? Uh uh! Bad! Bad! Oh shit! There we go. Okay, we got the Phantom at least. Oh, we're doing pretty good actually. Oh, you're so cute. Come here, little girl. Ah, you bitch. So the Cantanas, uh, what do I think about it? I prefer the Schmitzar. It's faster. Has a lot more bullets. It's not as powerful, but I guess the uh, the speed of the shotgun basically um, helps out the the weakness. It, it's uh, because it doesn't do that much damage as the Schmittar. This one it does more damage, but it's slower. So where the hell's everybody at? I don't know. I'm just gonna shoot from a distance. Oh shit! Damn it! To cover, ice, ice, baby. Shot pass. There we go. Hey, hey, yo, yo, come over here. Oh, he's having a seizure. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the hell, man? I was like two feet away from his freaking baton. I'm gonna hit you with my baton, even though I'm two feet away. Hey, big boy. Oh, you dead. You dead. You dead. Oh, 
Whoa, 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 don't look at me. There we go. Ha ha, sweet. Oh, I got an itch. Do, 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 do. Okay, where's everybody at? Wave 9. Okay, we're almost done here and we're already like, what, 30 minutes in? Okay, it's not that bad. This video won't be that long, I guess. Oh, shit! Ah, that was my kill! Bloody wankers. Hey, hey, hey you! Hey you! Come here! Hey, hey you! Ah, oh god! I, I sent another- ah. Give me your shield! What?! F you! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright, good, good, good. I survived that round. Where's everybody at? Oh! Who shall not pass? Who shall not pass? Ah, you whore. Oh, God. Whoa. Fuck off, wanker. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fuck off. Oh. There we go. Right in the face. Hey, 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 you. Come here. Where is it? This balance is. Oh, God. Mere shield. There we go. You should not pass! You should not pass! You should not pass! Who do I kill? I don't know. This is like mayhem right now. It's like, oh my god! What's going on here? Why am I talking like this? Oh, great. Target's elimination. I got this. Uh uh. Oh shit! Okay, never mind. Oh, I was gonna do that. Oh, oh, oh god! She's on her own with that one. It's like. No, he got the rocket out! Got the rocket out! That bitch! He's gonna shoot it! Damn it! I got him. Ah, oh, is this an engineer? Well, I got this one. Hey! Hey! Boom, bitch! Oh, I only got one. Oh, I got it. I got this one. Move out of the way! And boom, motherfucker! Look at that. Blood and go. Oh, shit. Okay, who wants to compete with shields? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's right. Right, I rule. Oh, I got a headshot off of that. Sweet. <laughs> Fucking asshole. All right. Oh, you so cute. You so cute, you little guardian. In the face. Ah, oh, I wanted to kill. Man, there's a lot of guardians today, aren't they? Come here, my little friend of doom. There we go. Ah, oh, my feet itch. There we go. Sorry, I had an itch in my foot really bad. I was like, oh god. I think it was a mosquito bite. Yeah, it's a mosquito bite. No, no, I didn't tell you to go against the wall. Fucking Bioware controls. Whoa. Damn, my shield's going down quick. Ice, ice, baby. Whoa. Shit. Give me your shields. I need your shields. Give me your shields. Is this thing still coming towards us? Hey, look at this! Hey, you! Hey, you! Oh, God! You saw me! Shit, someone's shooting from the side. Come here, little bitch. Come here, come here. Who do you think you are, huh? Huh? 
Oh, damn. Whoa! Whoa! No! You should not pass! Oh, God. Boom, bitch! Get off the way! All right, revive him! Revive him, son of a bitch! Oh, God damn. Shit, what's going on here? What's this madness, I tell you? Madness! Hey, hey, yo! Oh, God! Shit. Oh, God, it's getting intense now. It's getting intense now. She's, they're all being little whores now. I don't know. I'm just shooting in the air. Behind us? No, we're good. All right. Well, we just defeated one of the weirdest matches ever, in my opinion. Well, the whole time, easy as hell, and then out of nowhere, bam! Motherfuckers were like jumping on us, gang raping us. It was a big, you know, clusterfuck of like what the f, right? So, at least we. Got the uh, the N7 day challenge thing. They actually, surprisingly enough, they were going to do it originally only for November 7th. Only on November 7th. Uh, but they figured, oh, let's extend it a little bit because, you know, some people might, might not be able to play on November 7th. November 7th, especially since I think November 7th was a Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. So nobody was going to, you know, probably play in the middle of a week. Uh, so they figured, oh, why not? Let's just... Leave it like that, right? So they extended it until November 9th of a Friday. And actually, it's ending what time? Because I got the website up here. I still got one hour and 40 minutes about left. So I got the N7 Day Challenge. Yay! I don't give a fuck. Okay, guys. So now let's go back real quick and just show you guys what we get for defeating the n7 day alliance challenge i was gonna make a video on this but the thing is um usually throughout the week i'm busy with my internship and school and doing projects and stuff and i had other um personal things to handle you know fixing the house and whatnot I actually had to fix a door in my room because it broke off and everything so i had to buy some wood filler and some wood glue and some screws and drill it together and blah 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 a whole bunch of you know handyman stuff so yeah so let's go to challenges let's see what we get here so we got this challenges and i beat it you know extract three times of a human character and let's just set it for the fuck of it oh your title and lobby banner has been updated yay to be honest i would like um if it was in, like in call of duty where you have a title and a banner that are different. So you, let's say you have a banner of, let's say, the, the N7 Day Challenge, but with the words of Technical Master, right? Um, that would be pretty cool, in my opinion. That actually would make it better because then you can set your background but have a title that you really want, right? Because obviously you don't want to have, like, you know, you can have Biotic God with the little Volus there. But then you can have a different name. You can probably have, like, Tech Mastery and be like, what the hell? It'd be funny. It'd be more, um, how you say, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? More, more individualized. There we go. It'd be more individualized. But I guess Bioware doesn't want to do that, you know. They want to be different from everybody. But that's, that's good. Different is good. Uh, I'm not bitching about that. I'm just saying suggestions for the future. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it, guys, for this uh, N7 Bounty... Not N7 Bounty weekend. It's N7 Day Challenge thing. Uh, I th guess they're going to do it every November 7th now. Uh, because, obviously, N7 is, like, the acronym for November 7th. So they figured, ah, it was... Just make a new challenge for them. So I don't know how long this game is going to be up for. I give this game maybe three, four more years before it's shut down. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because it, it, it is as popular as, uh, let's say, Metal Gear Solid... And um, as we all know, Metal Gear Online lasted for about four years before it was shut down. So it wasn't that bad. Um, but all in all, uh, I like how Bioware is doing that. That they're doing this 
you know, different challenges every once in a while. I bet you there's going to be a Thanksgiving challenge. I bet you there's going to be a, a Christmas challenge, a New Year's challenge. Uh, there's going to be so-and-so cha- There's going to be a whole bunch of challenges coming out. And it's going to be awesome, in my opinion. And especially with this uh, every weekend having an N7 Bounty weekend coming up and everything like that. That's going to be great, too. Uh, so I'll see you guys around. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, one thing I do want you guys to uh, answer for me. Uh, what character did you use for this N7 Day Challenge? Huh? What, what, what was your favorite character in using? Obviously, I use the uh, what you call it, the the Paladin, and I use the uh, Vanguard, right? Um, so tell me, guys, what is your favorite human character out there, and was it the one that you used for this N7 Day Challenge? All right, just leave a comment in the comment section below telling me that. All right, so I'll see you guys around. So bye. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please press the little like button down below. Also, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you want more updates on what's going on, on my channel, just visit me on Twitter or at my Facebook page. So, this is Palm Primus, keep it crunchy, and peace out.